Welcome to my project .com. This is our project title Smart Crawler S2 Stage Crawler for Efficiently Harvesting Deep Web Interfaces. Let's see the abstract of our project. This is our abstract of our project. As a deep web grows at a very fast pace, there has been increased interest in technique that help to efficiently locate the deep web interfaces. However, due to the large volume of the web resources and the dynamic nature of the deep web and achieving the wide coverage and high efficiency in challenging as a issue. We propose a, a two-stage framework namely Smart Crawler for efficient harvesting a deep web interfaces. Our experimental set results and an responsive domain shows the ability to accuracy of our post crawler framework which efficiently retrieves the deep web interfaces from the large scale sites and uh, achieves a high harvested rate than uh, other crawlers. Let's see our flow diagram of our project. Uh, this is our flow diagram of our project. In our flow diagram we have overall concept of, of the our project. In first the site has been seeded to the database. The web crawler has been used to see the sites. The web crawler has been continuously fetch the URLs available in the internet. First uh, then the site database the URL has been seeded to the site databases. The deep website sites has been reverse searching. The reverse searching method has been uh, continuously fetch the another URL from the database. So the every each and every each and every URLs has been recursively checked the URL status for the deep website crawling. Then the deep website crawling database has been compared compared by the adaptive side liner. The adaptive side liner has been contained the side front frontier and the side ranker. The side ranker has been classified the URL values by the user accessing ratings. So site ranker has been uh, put the rank for every URL by using the site classifier algorithm. The site classifier has been separate the uh, each and every website by using the URL tokenization. The URL tokenization separate the each and every URL by the domain values. The domain has been separated by the second stage of the crawler. In st second stage crawler, the inside exploring has been explored. The inside exploring each and every link from the href tags uh, has been continuously checked. The, from the database, the cl form, form class pair has been continuously checked the href tags and catch the page fetcher algorithm. The page fetcher has been uh, get the link, link ranker algorithm and the candidate frontier algorithm. So adaptive link liner has been automatically automatically put the values for the URLs. So the URL has been classified using the side locating and the side exploring. So this is called as a two stage smart crawler. So first in the first stage of the crawling the URL has been fetched and another stage of the crawling the whole URL documentation has been touched. So inside of the URL the content will be fetched by the websites. After that fetching the content that will be uh, after fetching the contents after fetching the contents the URL has been fetched by the every states by site classifier algorithm so the site classifier and the link frontier the they all compose the overall links and the crawling links let's see our project execution this is our project, a smart crawler, a two-stage crawler for efficiently harvesting the deep web interfaces. Now we have to configure the network setup. We have to initially configure our PC network configuration by selecting the PC. So I have to choose my PC name. 
so this is my PC name ATPL M1 so after I have to choosing the PC next I have to choose the network interface through we are connecting the smart crawler we have to fetch the lot of URL from the internet so we have to choose one user interface for choosing the web interface so I have to choose the local area connection or VMware network adapter or IAC tape Namak general uh, interfaces. So here I have to choose the local area network connection setup. After I have to choose my network interface, this automatically reply the internet protocol address IPv4. So after I choosing the internet protocol version 192.168.0.95, I have put the URL for crawling. So now I have to put the URL for the crawling. Hostname as ATPL webmap and IP address as 192.168.0.95. These labels are source, UNIQ URL available in the crawled data sets and UNIQ domains and queue length and number of images links available in the data sets. Now I fetch the crawl link. So this automatically sets this uh, this is in the available in your data sets. So do you want to overwrite? So I have to overwrite my crawling data set. So now the crawler has fetched the URL for detecting the so the UNIQ URL has been already changed and UNIQ domains also has been changed the queue length and the number of images links also has been changed it fits the randomly for the available URL on the google.com this is the first stage of the crawler in the first stage crawler we have to fetch the seeding URL in the available on the internet now I have to stop the URL after which in the google.com I have to deep crawl the google these data sets are the already prefetched data sets by the crawling so now you have to choose the deep crawling data set I have choose the google data set so these URLs are fetched by the crawler and this is the domain name and the domain address and number of the distinct address in the available in the Google and total number of address available in this Google and the known URL and the known test. These are the these are the data sets are available by the crawler. Now I have to add to the deep crawling. So this is the deep crawling process. Now I have choose any one of the crawled URL. So this is my current URL. Now I have to deep crawl the content. So this is my content HTML address. So from this content I have to fetch the all the URL from the href tags. So this is the deep crawler interface for crawling the whole values from the one URL. Now I have to evaluate the performance of the deep crawler. So I have to evaluate the performance by using the original URL and the duplicate URL for finding the disk of basis. Thank you.